Hey everyone, Desiree here. So in this video, I thought I would show you how I use multiple traveler's notebooks. I get this question a lot where people ask, you know, how do I use more than one notebook or why do I use so many notebooks? And what I have found is that for me, the easiest way to plan things and keep things organized in my head is to really categorize and compartmentalize certain things, you know, in their own uh, traveler's notebook. So I'm going to show you the, the notebooks that I use and what purpose I use them for. Um, I'm not going to do flip throughs or setups of any of them because obviously that would take too long. But I just wanted to give you an idea of how I'm using more than one traveler's notebook and how um, it's working for me and how I don't get overwhelmed and how I really do uh, have a purpose for each and every one. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this first one here, you guys have seen, this is my Everyday Carry Traveler's Notebook. This is the notebook I take with me whenever I leave the house. There's like a calendar and um, um, I have some, um, sorry, just, <laughs> just had a, uh, just went blank there. I have uh, inserts in there for like uh, brain dumping and taking notes and lists and projects and all that type of thing. So whenever I leave the house, this is the traveler's notebook I take with me for on-the-go planning, note-taking, random stuff. Next up, I have my Midori Traveler's Notebook. Now, this is what I use for Bible study. Um, whenever I go to church or if I'm participating in a Bible study, this is what I use to keep my Bible study notes. I, I like having a separate notebook. It works for me. It's not that thick. And um, I like it because, you know, it's a little bit smaller, so it's easy to carry with me since I'm usually carrying a lot of, you know, other stuff as well. Uh, this one here is my social media blog uh, planner tracker. I use this for for writing down uh, ideas and notes for videos I want to do or blog posts I want to do. And I, I found that because um, I tend to get really lengthy and, and detailed with this that it really needed its own separate notebook. I do have a couple of blogs plus, you know, obviously my YouTube channel and I... I wanted to have separate inserts for each of that so I found us a, a separate notebook um, actually works best for that Oops. Uh, next up is my main everyday planner you guys have seen this this is my everyday planner this is um, the main thing I use for everyday life stuff as it relates to me and my son and so um, I like having a separate book just for that these two here I use for my essential oils um, business and classes. I know I have mentioned before that I'm taking classes, so the blue one is basically for my essential oils um, business and aromatherapy classes. And then I use the hot pink one um, for notes about the oils themselves, like recipes for blends and and notes on the specific oils and you know how they work and what they do so these two are my essential oils um, travelers notebooks if you saw my video yesterday you saw this uh, chunkster here this is basically just a random <coughs> excuse me notebook of you know things that I um, just keep at home there's no Specific one use for these these are this is basically just holding inserts that have random lists notes ideas um, Some brand new inserts in there as well. So this is basically just randomness Next um, you guys have seen a video on my financial planning travelers notebook and that's what this is This has everything and anything related to finances in here and again because I do tend to be a bit detailed on this. I found that having its own separate uh, notebook was easier for me to manage. And then lastly, I have my journal. Every morning I write out my goals and this is the notebook I use, I use for that. This stays by my bedside. So um, every morning I just write out my goals real quick and that's usually how I start my day. I also do some journaling in here sometimes, but mostly this is just for my daily goal writing. And that is it. So, let's see, how many, 
notebooks do I have actively in use? Now, of course, you know, I don't use these every single day. I don't go in and out every single one every single day. But as you can see, you know, they each have a specific purpose. And in my mind, it's much easier to keep track of all of this information when I have it categorized like this. You know, I also, um, I have, let me see which you guys have seen this as well, I have my um, fitness planner and tracker that I use to track my um, food and, you know, health stuff. And then um, I'm considering starting another one just for recipes. I'm not quite sure yet if I'm going to do that in a traveler's notebook or more like in a binder style because it'll be easier. But Anyways, I hope uh, this helps to answer the question of how I use multiple traveler's notebooks. And maybe it might give you some ideas, too, on how to use, you know, multiple traveler's notebooks, especially if you have a lot of things going on in your life that you need to keep track of. All right, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Make sure you like and subscribe this video because I've got a lot more to come. And... Um, yeah, I guess that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Bye.